Hey Katie, so I'm here now at uh, 4314 Rosewood and I was just doing a Facebook live video for you. I figured I'd do uh, two birds with one stone. I usually do those on Fridays, so it didn't work out. I lost reception, so I'm going to do another one for you. You can kind of see out here we have a nice little uh, additional parking space for guests. And then you have a long driveway that takes us into the one car garage with additional storage back there. We'll look at that in a minute. Brand new roof just went on, so that's nice. Architectural shingles, all brick, um, which has not been painted. I love that. But you got your nice brick house here. Uh, they currently have the rose garden in the front. There is room in the back to to transplant those back there. From what I can see, the drain line, as you can see right there, coming out of the out of the uh, the bottom, um, has been updated to PVC. We don't know how much it goes underneath. Obviously, the old inspector will need to see that. And then we can see out by the front there, those are some CPVC pipes. So it looks like the water lines have been updated at some point as well. Um, the HVAC, the air conditioning unit, that's uh, new in 2016. So that's cool. And then these windows, you can see the white ones here, which are about 70% of the windows in the house have been updated to uh, double insulated glass, which is nice. So there's some that are in the back here that are still old. Single pane it looks. So here we are in the living room. You've got um, the original oak wood floors, which is real nice. A wood burning fireplace, which I believe works. You've got the, the tools there to mess around with the coals, so I'm gonna assume that it's been used recently, maybe during the winter. So we'll go look at the left side of the house in a bit. Here we'll move into the dining room. Lots of space in here. They've currently got a, you know, uh, cabinet there and a, another cabinet here that takes up a lot of space and there's still plenty of room to seat about eight. Leading into the kitchen with a uh, little door, a swivel door here. The kitchen can definitely be updated at some point. It's got, it's got the space. Um, currently there is a dishwasher in place and it does look clean and usable. You got your stove here with um, the vent fan above it and then place for your you know pretty large refrigerator and then additional storage. And of course, they've got this nice little uh, island here. It can be also used as like a breakfast uh, table. But if you wanted to, you know, at some point in the future, rip it all out, you've got the, uh, you know, the, the framing, you know, everything, you got the space to put whatever you want in here. I see, uh, so here's these older windows, they're kind of gray. Those are all single pane, not as energy efficient as the double insulated windows. Here's a uh, little cool room. I guess you can call it a den. They're currently using it as a den. You could uh, you know, use it as another dining space. And this whole, all these windows are the single pane. This leads us into the living room where we started. And there's that hallway that leads into the, the bedrooms. But since we're in here, we're going to come into the master bedroom from the den. Now this is now the master bedroom because it has its own direct access to a uh, bathroom there. And it's larger than the other bedroom that has access. Um, this looks like a, a full or a, probably a queen size bed. But um, I do believe you could put a, a king in here. It just, you know, you'd have the door hitting your side table right there. Got some nice closet space in here. And then you have the master bath, stand-up shower, slate tile. Again, they're using they have additional space in here for you know your pedestal sink. Now this is a, a doorway that leads into one of the into like the third bedroom, and you see they've kind of you know decorated it so that it doesn't look like it's a door. You could close this off completely if you didn't want access to this room which it appears they are using as like, you know, additional closet space, a little office, and currently the laundry room where they have their stackable washer and dryer. Now there is a space in the hallway that that could be easily moved to. So this is a full bedroom. It does have a actual closet in it. And it has a doorway which we're gonna go to that leads into the hallway. 
this side of the house has the new windows, just not the back side for some reason. So here we are in the hallway. Um, this is how you can access the master bedroom from the hall. You've got plenty of closet space. This one right here has an updated water heater. This is the original master bedroom. Lots of space in here. It definitely has enough room for a master or a king size bed. These are two closets, it would be the his and hers, but they actually cross through. So you can, you know, you can kind of walk through if you wanted to to the other side. Goes all the way through. So those are the three bedrooms. One currently being used as an office and a laundry room. We saw the master bath. Here's our hall bath, which has been updated with some nice wood plank tile ceramic. A little pedestal sink there, a new toilet, original uh, tile all the way around. It has just had a new coating put on it at some point in the, in the near past, I believe. Looks like the uh, shower valves have been updated.